Davion Mitchell, arguably what was considered the most NBA ready prospect uh, a bit further down the draft board outside of Chris Duarte in the 2021 NBA draft. And while he has not fully lived up to that expectation and that hype around him, he has definitely still shown in his time with Sacramento so far this season that he has a lot of upside in the NBA and is going to be a very productive NBA player. Let's talk about everything non-defense first because defense is of course where he is going to lay his cap and where I think he will thrive most in the NBA. Sure, he has not had the offensive production that some would have hoped for at this point in time in the season, but it is worth noting he is playing in a Sacramento backcourt it is filled with Buddy Heald, De'Aaron Fox, and Cyrus Halliburton, where some of his touches are a bit sparring, inconsistent, and not ideal for a young rookie to flourish. And he's also playing in a system and a head coach that wasn't great in Luke Walton, and now has a new coach, which is going to bring a lot of change. And not an ideal scenario for a lottery to pick to develop and grow in. With that being said, you would still expect his three-point shooting and hope his three-point shooting would be better than it has been so far, shooting at about 26% from deep. But given his track record, I would expect that that will improve with time as he adjusts to the NBA and the NBA three-point line. Uh, his playmaking hasn't been terrible. I don't expect Davion Mitchell to be an elite playmaker by any stretch, but he's averaging a bit over three and a half assists per game. And I think he has been a fine ball handler and playmaker to this point in time. And I think he's going to be a fine ball handler as a guard throughout his NBA career. I don't think he's ever going to be some elite playmaker, but I think he has the ability to run an offense and be a fine playmaker for someone off of the bench. Scoring otherwise has not been great. A little bit of attack in the rim. I think he has the potential to be a good finisher at the rim as well. It's just going to take some time. Maybe it's going to take a little bit more time for Davion Mitchell than some people expected. But I think there's still some upside there and, and reason to believe that he is going to be a positive offensive piece. But primarily, of course, uh, Davion Mitchell is going to lay his cap on the defensive end. And nothing statistically jumps out for you for Davion Mitchell on the defensive end. Only averaging 0.7 steals per game. But he is so energetic and active on the defensive end. Very good lateral quicks. A six foot two, not overly long, but he's active. He's in your grill. He gets in your face. He can test shots well. He doesn't allow guys to get around him very easily. He doesn't allow guys much space. And at 205 pounds, he is a very strong 205 pounds, especially for a guy coming out of the draft. So he has good strength to be able to guard against bigger guys down in the paint if needed. Uh, and sure, obviously, if someone's going to shoot over him, that's a problem. But he's not just getting easily backed down against the bigger guys due to that size and strength. Not really too much of a dissimilar mold to Kyle Lowry in terms of the strength and size he has. And I think his ability, especially long term, to be able to defend guys down in the paint. But defensively, he has all defensive team type of potential to me. Will he ever play enough? and be it on a big enough of an important starting role for him to ever achieve that remains to be seen. Uh, but Davion Mitchell, extremely elite defender, still needs to improve on the offensive end, no doubt about it. Uh, but Davion Mitchell is going to be a menace on the defensive end for years to come and just needs to put the offensive things together moving forward. That being said, that is my thoughts on Davion Mitchell so far in his early NBA career. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.